Hi everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you to Cutout Studio. This is a dedicated studio environment that allows you to separate the subject of a photo from its background. To open Cutout Studio, make sure the photo you want to cut out is selected and on the Photo Studio toolbar, click Cutout Studio. Cutout Studio also includes its own help pane. This answers many common questions about cutting out your images. The image I'm cutting out contains quite a simple background. This means that we can create the cutout easily by working with the discard brush tool. I can now select a large brush and ensure that the grow tolerance is selected. This controls the precision with which the areas are selected. It also tells Cutout Studio to extend the selection area under the brush into the surrounding pixels. This option is most useful when your image has large blocks of colour and the subject has well defined edges. Now, I just click and drag on the areas of the image I want to discard. To get a better idea of the areas that are to be kept and those that are to be discarded, I'll click the Show Tinted button. Because we started with the discard brush, areas marked in red will be discarded. You can see that this area here has incorrectly been marked to be discarded. I can change this by clicking the Keep Brush tool. First I'll change to a smaller brush. Next, I'll zoom in to get a better view. Finally, I just paint over the area I want to keep. You can see how precisely I'm able to select this area. If you have a photo that doesn't have quite such well-defined edges, it might be worth turning off the grow tolerance. Let's now preview the image cutout. It looks OK, but to make sure that I haven't missed anything, I can change the background colour. By choosing a bright green, I can see that some of the sky hasn't been removed. I can fix this by using the retouch tools to precisely edit the areas I need to change. I'll use the erase touch up tool to remove more of the photo. You can use any background colour that makes it easy to check your image. It doesn't matter as it won't affect the final transparency. I'm happy with that so I can finish by clicking OK. My finished cutout photo is now in the workspace. I can copy it and paste it as a new layer in this project. Then it can be moved and resized as required. Well, that's all for this tutorial. For more information, see the Help, the How To tab, or the other online tutorials. Thanks for watching!